so let me wake up my raspberry pi by moving the mouse it's in the standby mode and as you can see it's turned on and i've been working and checking its temperature range so yeah now what we need to do is we need to shut it down uh click on log out and click on shut down right there okay so uh, as you can see the machine is being shutting down successfully and uh, yeah that's done now this is my raspberry pi and it has a micro sd card slot uh, in which from which it is booting up at this point and what we want to do is we want to remove the micro sd card slot uh, like that just a second and there you go and now as you can see this is my samsung evo plus 32 gigabyte of memory card which is quite good enough for the raspberry pi but what we want to do is we want to use a pen drive instead so let's jump to our laptop and do the further part now as you can see i'm on my macbook again and you need to go onto this link mentioned over here and once you go on in this link you can uh, download this uh, Ubuntu desktop for the Raspberry Pi or the server as you wish. I'm gonna download the desktop version. Click on download 64 bit, and as you can see, it's going to download it itself. And now I'm gonna skip the part of the download, and now the download has been completed. So we're gonna open Raspberry Pi Imager, which is an app you can download on their website and click on choose OS and search for custom OS right there click on it and select the one that we want which is the Ubuntu and click open so now we, you need to plug in the pen drive into your computer and click on choose storage right there and as you can see this is the USB storage which is my pen drive's name at this point and I'm gonna choose this send this ultra of 32 gigabyte again and click on write and select yes and enter your password of your macbook so once this has been done now the writing is going to take a long time so i'll be skipping this part for you so once it gets written up then it's going to verify itself and once the verification process is done all you need to do is just plug it out from your computer and connect it to the raspberry pi and boot it just like that without the micro sd card slot and that's all you need to do for this process thank you for watching this video uh, hit the like if you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one